Hello everyone, Chris here. In this video I will show you how to bring your character on next level by successfully exploring a science lab. First, how to find one. There are many types of labs ranging from concealed ones like basement labs to full-on research facilities. This time we will focus on science lab. You can get lucky and encounter one on your journey, but the most effective method to find them is to climb up radio towers. They will help you uncover large portions of the map, and on top of them you can sometimes find binoculars or survival telescopes. Thanks to them you can expand your field of vision even more. It will take some time, so prepare to grind few levels of your vehicle skill. Once you located one, the entrance will be sealed. There are a few ways to open them. First method relies on using science ID card. They can be found on bodies of dead scientists. If you didn't find one, universal lockpick is always an option. Another method is to extract hammer or acetylene torch. They can be found in light industry buildings. Just make sure to take the gasoline powered truck hammer. It's way better. I highly recommend choosing last option, because unlike cars, you can use it underground. Once you enter, you may be greeted by a turret. To deal with it, use a grenade. You can find them on zombie soldiers near FEMA camps. But wait, your starting character throwing skills are not better than that of a child, and throwing grenades in tight corridors can end poorly. To fix that, pick up some rocks and keep throwing them until you level up once or twice. Now that the threat has been dealt with, you can proceed with your exploration. But first, check the temperature. If it's normal, then you avoided some annoying problems. If it's quite chilly, then my only advice is to wear warmest clothes you can find while making safe rooms by starting fires. If you hear noise while exploring, it means that monsters are nearby. Shuffling means zombies, while plop sound means that this is a blob infested room. When you hear mechanical wiring, then it means that you will be dealing with robots. If you have guns, most of the monsters here shouldn't cause you problems. Just make sure to have a treat map ready. While exploring, you can find locked rooms with terminals near them. Those rooms can be barracks, prisoner containment rooms, libraries, or CBMs and mutagens rooms. You can also find the auto dog room in which you can install bionics. The barracks will be most dangerous out of the bunch. They will usually contain zombie soldiers and often some robots which can kill even endgame character. If you break through to the armory, you will be greeted again by a turret. You can deal with zombies by using your guns, but with robots and turrets, the safest option is always to use a grenade. Now let's move to the main prize, the lab final room. Most of the time they are packed with zombies, robots, turrets, or some combination of those three. By now I assume you know how to deal with those. If you are lucky, there will be no light, making it way easier to dispatch them. The lead of the final room will be random, but it will always be something interesting. In my case, I found the CBM's final room. While exploring the lab, you can often find underground material which will lead you to other labs. But be warned, it's crawling with monsters. If you want to try and explore it, be sure to pack up a lot of bullets. Congratulations! Successfully exploring the science lab can go and choose IBMs, mutagens, equipment necessary for production of mutagens, rare books, uncommon firearms, armors, ammunition, and lastly the cherry on top, the loot from the final room. With those, you can bring your character on next level, allowing you to thrive in the world of Cataclysm. My last Cataclysm video was watched by 700 people. And out of those 700, 12 of you subscribed, which is crazy, because I was expecting none. Nevertheless, thank you very much for that. Seeing someone new subscribing always brings a smile to my face. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Chris out.